हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड सक्सेसिव अप्रॉक्सिमेशन अनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज्ड अनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर इज सक्सेसिव अप्रॉक्सिमेशन अनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर दिस सक्सेसिव अप्रॉक्सिमेशन एडीसी is available in the form of an ic which is integrated circuit the parameters that should be considered while selecting an adc includes resolution conversion time speed of conversion cost of adc and number of bits so the parameter that should be considered while selecting an adc is resolution conversion time speed of conversion cost and number of bits that should be converted from analog signal here the conversion time is the time taken by an adc to convert an analog signal to digital form so the conversion time is the time taken by the adc to convert from analog signal to digital form ideally the conversion time should be equal to zero but practically this conversion time should be as low as possible if this conversion time is less then speed of operation will be high so ideally this conversion time should be equal to zero but practically we can say that this conversion time should be as low as possible if this conversion time is less then speed of operation will be high this is the block diagram of successive approximation adc here sar is a successive approximation resistor that receives the output of comparator and start of conversion bit and also the clock signal as the input and it will provide the output as end of conversion as well as digital output the output of sar is applied to digital to analog converter the output of dac is vd that is applied as one of the input to the comparator here the comparator will compare the analog input signal along with the output of digital to analog converter and it will provide the output to the sar here if vd is less than va then the comparator output will be equal to 1 if vd is greater than va then the comparator output will be equal to 0 and if vd is equal to va then end of conversion will be equal to 1 and the digital output is obtained so this will be the operation of successive approximation adc now let us consider an example to understand this let us consider the analog input as 13.2 so this will be approximately equal to 1101 to understand the operation let us consider three columns so first one is sar present state next is output of comparator v0 and sar next state initially when start of conversion is made as 1 the present state of sar will be 0 0 0 0 so this is the output of sar that is given as input to dac so dac will convert this digital input to analog form and it will produce the output that is compared with the analog input which is 13.2 now since the output of dac is less than the analog input that's why it will be vd which is less than va so we know if vd is less than va the comparator output will be 1 so if the comparator output is 1 then the sar 
will be having the value as 1 0 0 and 0 so what happens once the output of comparator is 1 so it will replace this bit in the present state and the next state of SCR will be 1 0 0 and 0 now this is given as input to the digital to analog converter so the present state of SAR is 1 0 0 and 0 again this value is less than the analog input that's why the output of comparator will be 1 now this 1 will replace this bit in SAR and the next state of SAR will be 1 1 0 0 so 1 1 0 0 will be the present state of SAR again 1 1 0 0 is less than the input signal that's why output of comparator will be 1 now this 1 will replace this bit in the present state the next state of SAR will be 1 1 1 9 0 so this is given as input to the digital to analog converter now the present state of SAR is 1 1 1 9 0 now in this case this bit is greater than the input signal so in this case VD will be greater than VA that's why the output of comparator will be 0 so this 0 will replace this bit and the next bit will be made as 1 so this will be the procedure once you get 0 the previous 1 bit will be made as 0 and the next bit is made as 1 so that's why we will get the output as 1 1 0 1 so here once you get 0 this bit will be replaced with 0 and the next bit is made as 1 so now in this case the value of VD will be equal to VA then end of conversion will be made as 1 and this is taken as digital output this is about a successive approximation analog to digital converter hope you have understood the topic thank you